Welcome to the third LiDAR deep learning video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to annotate our own LiDAR data set. So the first video, we talked about how to download some LiDAR data. Second video, we talked about how to convert that LiDAR data, the 3D point cloud, into some raster images. And so here, we're going to use RoboFlow to annotate some of those images. So I created an account. Um, I made a project called LiDAR. It's an instance segmentation project. So there's videos on how to do that. Once we have that set up, um, so here's our project description. You can set up classes. You can upload data. So I've uploaded some data. Once you upload the data, you get this um, page where you can assign videos, assign images uh, for labeling and we pick one that's uh, maybe this one here. And so now I want to assign this. So I say assign one image and I'm going to assign it to myself. And then, so this was the page we were just on, this unassigned page. It switches to this annot annotate pages. So I'm going to annotate this image and in the annotation, we have uh, zoom button with the check mark. Now, for this current setup, I'm just doing uh, building segmentation. So I just grab the this tool, which is the polygon tool. The annotation editor if I wanted to give it a different name but here I'm just highlighting some buildings I could do cars because we have a fair number of cars we could do power lines we could do trees um, we could do roads if I go on to the next object it just saves these or I could hit save for that label so those are the four buildings this area and looks like a four-way stop sign this is a sports field let's grab this and annotate that oh and if you ever get off on your annotation you can hit the escape button Not sure about these stands, what I want to do with those. This seems to be another building. And of course you can decide. I'm doing segmentation, so I want to put a little bit of shape on some of those buildings if they're not a uh, trivial obvious shape. simple rectangle. I'm still looking to, um, to put a label on those buildings. Right, and so we could do more about these stands. These are probably lights for this sports field. Um, maybe some sort of a goal at one end. These are electrical lines in our LiDAR data. But right now I'm just working on the building. So once we get that done, we can say this is okay so once we once we're finished and we're happy with the labels we've put on this image we add this one image to the data set it's going to give us some some ideas about train test split which we're not going to really be focusing on so here's our data set the data set now it says it has four images, but there's really one, two, three, four, five, six images. It's really four batches of images. Um, so we can come over here and see the, the six images that are in our data set. From there, we can generate um, our data, which we're going to use for training our deep learning model. So this is going to 
download those images and um, the information for the bounding boxes that we created. And so we could add a pre-processing step, which incorporates these different filters or orientation, um, but we don't want to do that. Uh, those are we're, we're not doing those because we're doing LiDAR data, which has fixed three-dimensional structure in it. Um, we're going to do, for data augmentation, we're going to create additional copies of each image. So this is the image, and then uh, we're going to flip it horizontally and vertically because a 3D, tra 3D transformation of a LiDAR image should not change what the objects are going to um, be, and similar for a 45-degree rotation. And then for the create, we're going to hit the create, assuming our subscription to RoboFlow, whether it's free or, or whatever, has enough um, credits. We could train it with RoboFlow, but really all we want to do is export this, and I'm going to train it separate separately. So I want a, a YOLO V8, because that's going to be working with. And we can either show download code or download the zip. I'm going to download the zip. So if you download the code, you generate the code, you could get code that you put into your Python notebook. When you run that code, it'll download the, um, the zip file to your, to your folder. OK, so here in my downloads, I have my LiDAR data. So I can unzip this and then put that on my place where I'm going to do my deep learning with YOLO, and that's what we'll pick up in the next video. Thank you.